Hey everybody, um, welcome to the Tea Project. This is part two of three parts of the Tea Project and you are welcome to start at any one of those parts that you want, which is why we have some students who have already experienced one part of the Tea Project or maybe two parts or maybe none at all. So it's gonna be a really nice cohort as we learn from one another. My name is Angie Barger and I'm the founder of the Tea Project and I'll be your instructor. So this page is the course page at the tproject.net that you will go to. Um, and when you receive this video, you'll be signed up and able to log in. So you'll see the courses available, and this is the one that we want to log into. So go ahead and just click log in. And as you can see, you'll put your username here and the password that I give you and then you can change it as soon as you pop into the course. So we're just logging in right now. And for you, it will show that you are only enrolled in Spring 22 Mindfulness Practices to Enhance Science Observation Skills. This is the name that we use through Castleton University. And as you'll see, we have other names for this course also because we build gardens. When you enter the course, this is the page that you'll see. I just want to draw your attention to this link to the course syllabus, which is also linked in another one of our introductory forms of which there are three as soon as you log on to the first module, which is available to you today. And then you'll see the course content. Today you'll be able to get into module one and the course is self-paced in this online learning management system, but the courses that follow are only released then the Tuesday after this one. So today's module one which is the only one that will be released on a Monday. In the future at noon on Tuesday you will be able to access the following module. It's expected that you try to fit in finishing the module and all of the reflections included therein um, by Monday evening when we start our synchronous classes, which is March 7th. So until March 7th, you'll have about a module a week that you can time as you like. And as soon as I have them all edited and up to speed for this year, because this course was um, like all of us forced to go online during the pandemic. And now that most of us are teaching in person again, there are some tweaks that I wanna make to create more ease with it. So as of today, you do have access to one module and I'm hoping to upload them successively so that if you have your winter break coming up and you just wanna um, focus on some things before that, if you're going away or during that time, you'll be able to self uh, pace. So you've received a um, folder, which you're invited to view and um, Everyone in the class has access to the student folders tab, but only you have access, you and I have access to your individual folder. I wanted you to be able to pop on here and see that there's 12 students in our cohort and what their positions are right now, because you won't meet them in person until March 7th. And I'm not really gonna have you introduce yourself online. We'll just immediately start uploading reflections. And we do have um, a culture of reflecting on others' previous reflections in the modules before we post our own so that we can have a conversation going. Um, when you have um, a reflection requested of you, if you could please draft yourself a document that you save for yourself and then paste your reflection into the learning management system forum and that will become really clear um, so that you have, you know, what you need. If you want to give me a copy, you can also pop that right into this folder, but it's not necessary. Um, and then when you have other assignments due, which we'll get into when we have our synchronous classes, you'll pop them right into this folder. That is different than our previous col class culture, so that's a new update for us. When you get to this course expectations page, you will find that um, this is embedded in the learning management system, module one. And I really do encourage you to just like bookmark this link, 
you'll want um, to bookmark this link and the next one that I show you as well so that you can refer back to it. It's just a lot of information and you don't even have to feel like you need to get to know it. Just browse it right now. But um, often I find that there's lots of questions afterwards and it's just a lot to take in at the beginning. Um, always email me with questions and just as an introduction to our, our course, we do have three office hour um, options that are optional for you that you can schedule with me that are about a half hour to an hour each, depending what you need. And those are online. If you need me in any smaller capacity, always feel free to email me. We can set up a phone conversation. I have a flexible schedule um, for half of the week, so we can make that work. As a part of the former document, there's a link to the content of this Spring Tea Project course. This link is also pasted directly on that course um, front page that we visited very first when we were in this video. You'll just want to resource this off and on through the semester. If you have not sent me a check for materials, please do so. Um, and if you have a question of where to send that, you can email me. It's in the former email that I sent the whole group. Um, if you cannot, you've already noted that in the survey, the registration survey, and that's okay. But if you can, it's really helpful. Um, and those materials will be ordered and sent to the designated address that you put down in the registration survey um, this coming week. Okay, so you have two texts in that, and I will also forward you the itemized list so that you can know what to expect and um, you'll receive the dates that those shippings should be arriving as well. So you can be on the lookout for them. And I think that's it for now. I just wanted to give you a hearty welcome more and more. So I think that's it for now. I just wanted to give you a hearty welcome and also to um, invite you to take a deep breath as you enter into this course. We started the course in 2017 with a group of um, really just expert teachers, one of whom is joining us for this manifestation of the course, because um, it used to be very different. And um, it is it has evolved to become a course whose aim is to nourish the inner life of the educator so that we can show up for our students through our mindfulness practice, even if we are not overtly teaching our students a mindfulness practice. Um, in addition to that, that's our social emotional learning curriculum. And then we also have a science and gardening curriculum and we will be building perennial herb gardens and reaping the benefits of them for our students to sort of consider the next seven generations through by passing forward the gardens to the students who are growing into their place because perennial herb gardens grow very slowly. The comments that we've received from this course um, is that it's a very different course than any most teachers have ever taken for professional development and that it's very impactful. So I invite you to take the assignment seriously. You'll be beginning with an assignment to establish 15 minutes a day, hopefully around the same time of the day, to create time to do a daily guided mindfulness practice. And this is nothing to shake a stick at. It's something that may be more challenging than most, but may be also more nourishing than most assignments you've received in your courses. So um, as we move through, here are some images of students who were part of our first tea project and some of the images of what happens when we do this program together. And when we invest our time mindfully in the land, the earth and the students and these routines and habits. Um, welcome, looking so forward to meeting you. Email me at any time with any questions. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.